All right, new system. How's it going? Good. <laughs> We're trying out our new setup here. So we will get started. How's it going? A little time in the making or making in the time. That's it. How is everyone today? Let's see, I'm saying there we are. Okay, we're up. <laughs> I am ready for your comments. Okay. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? Okay, we're here. That's I'm right. Lisa. I'm Gary. And today, go ahead. Go ahead. We're going to talk about California real estate market statistics. That's right. So our top story today is California market <laughs> statistics. <laughs> to let you know that the market is still very, very robust. It's a good word, huh? It is. What was the other word you liked? Stellar. Stellar. No. Robust. No, it was, it was something different. <laughs> so California, um, the median price has dipped below 800000 for the first time in seven months to 798400 so barely but it has been over 800 for um, most of this year, which is, that's got to be record highs. Well, now, can that statistic be a little misleading because it's down, but actually the market's up? Right. Well, you know, I think they can cut and chop the numbers <laughs> however they want, but I'm just reporting the news here. <laughs> that's right. So the medium home prices, I think that means, let's say entry level, I was going to say first time buyer, but let's go to entry level properties have been selling spectacularly hot, just like the luxury market. But this time the luxury market has led us to where we are today. Yes, the entry home market price has gone up and up and up. Yes, and that's across the state. These are statewide numbers. Yes. These are just not local numbers. We know the local numbers too. State of California, just in <laughs> case you're wondering where uh, where we are. So unsold inventory is 1.8 months down. It's ten. It's down 10 percent. It's the lowest level in the last four months. So if a if if a what do we call it a normal? I don't know what normal is, but they say it's six months worth of inventory would be a normal market. Not that we've ever seen that, but now just to give you some reference, it's 1.8. That's right. So normal is non-existent anymore. Normal, I think they've erased it out of the dictionary. <laughs> Certainly in California. <laughs> so it's a great time to list to take advantage of less competi competition because like inventory is still so low. Uh, buyers are still out there in the market. So it's a good time because no telling what's going to happen in the new year. Um, there may be more properties coming on the market, which would mean more competition for you if you're a seller. Um, but of course, we'd have some very happy buyers if we had some more inventory, certainly in the entry price ranges. That's right. So sellers are once again in the driver's seat. So if there's a reason to sell or the statistic I saw was that People have sold their home, and 30% of the people that have sold their home can't find a replacement home. But they had to sell their home to buy a new home because contingent offers are very difficult in this market. Not non-existent, just very tough to get an offer like that accepted. That's right. So sales continue to outpace new listings. Um, in October, there were 24,000 sales in the state of California, but only 10,000 new active listings. So you can see where the where the bump is here between the inventory, what's, ha what's happening. That means there are more buyers than there are sellers. That's right. Yes, basically supply and demand 101. And that's been going on since about let's say May of 2020. We went That's locked right. down in March. By May, people were like, I can't stand to be where I'm locked down. Let's do something. Let's do anything. Yeah, so just the supply has declined much faster than the new li listings are coming on. Median days on the market is at 11. So you think things are selling very quickly. Existing home sales are up 13.4%, but those numbers are going to be hard to keep them that high without inventory coming on. Um, price per square foot, a single family home is at $389 median price per square foot. And of course, condos is higher at $505 a foot. Smaller property, always higher price per square foot. Yeah, we've seen some of the smaller properties along the beach at $1,500 a square foot. So mm -hmm. 
Yes, now that's not a large mansion, but you know, you get the smaller property very close to the beach, you're looking at 1,500 a foot. Yeah, it's just crazy. 60.2% um, of homes sold over the asking price uh, statewide. That number is 85% all around the, count the counties in the Bay Area. Um, the uh, I saw the median price in Atherton is $8.8 .8 million, just FYI. <laughs> yeah, do they have any fixtures? <laughs> I don't know. You guess at the at the high end, I'm sure there always are a few. Um, median mortgage rate is three percent. Of course, we're still around the three percent range, and the median household income right now to afford a home is about one hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. Mortgage rates in the past year have been the lowest in the history of real estate. And just to give you a little refresher, especially for our younger viewers, in the 70s, the median interest rate was 8.86%, the 80s, 12.7%, the 90s, 8.12%, 2000s, 6.29%, and then in 2010, it was 4.09%, per and now we're at three. So it's uh, still at these record low rates. If you have not refinanced yet, what are you waiting for? Well, the price has gone up slightly now we were in the very high twos and now we're in the very low threes and refinances has slowed down but there's a lot of people i saw where the average interest on or mortgages was six percent so there's a lot of people out there that haven't refinanced mm -hmm. six percent was in the 2000s so they haven't refinanced since then and um, the retirement rates i saw an interesting chart that showed the retirement rates you know, it was kind of like those, uh, the election graphs. It kind of went like this and then boom, straight up. So the, the retirement rates, people are retiring much faster than the, what has been the traditional curve. Yeah, now that's an interesting analogy. Well, it's just what I thought of because I'm visual. So it was the same kind of a visual since we've seen that one about a billion times in the last year. Um, the will home prices go down in 2022. How's your crystal ball? Well, I would think that anything can happen. Uh, we never know what the event's gonna be. Usually it's a bunch of small things, but could be anything. I, so my answer, my crystal ball is say, no, they're not gonna go down. Well, over a hundred industry experts, <laughs> including you, 101, don't think so. The prices are not going to come down. They're projecting a more modest appreciation on home price gains, modest to almost 6%. I mean, these numbers are just crazy. So you um, think we're uh, going to flatten the curve? Yeah, I don't think so. It doesn't sound <laughs> like that graph is still go, uh, going up. So in the next 12 months, um, compared to, we see this says about 12 percent of appreciation this year so only six percent next year but if you start adding them all together prices have gone up quite a bit 2021 and then heading into 22. now these are statewide numbers uh -huh. i mean basically the numbers you know locally and that's any locality i mean it's a street by street this street's gone up 30 percent the street right next to it has gone up 22 percent it just depends on what street you're on i mean street lights or no street lights sidewalks or no sidewalks it's just always in the details that's right so waiting to list your house um, could be dangerous because you might have more competition as more inventory comes on and this is always a great time to list at the end of the year there's tends to be traditionally less uh, inventory in the market so it could be a great time to jump ahead of your competition and get your house on while we still have a lot more buyers in the market than we do have homes for sale well the houses are starting to be decorated i mean there's a few in our neighborhood that have christmas yes. lights up you know on tv that all the commercials now have switched to christmas and they've just kind of blown right through thanksgiving <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, i mean you know lisa even talked about putting our tree up but, uh, I know, but we always get a real tree, so I have to wait till they have real trees to, to get one. <laughs> yeah, the real tree that's going to last in the tree stand for two months. Yeah, usually not, but it does smell good for at least the first week or two. <laughs> um, so according to Ivy Zellman, who is a well-respected economist, she says the likelihood of us having a foreclosure crisis again is 0%. So people that think there's going to be this big crash of foreclosures, it's just not going to happen. Well, it's very difficult to get a foreclosure if you've gone up 20% last year. These are local numbers for us, 20% this year. 
You know, if you've gone up 40% in the last 24 months, very difficult to not have equity in your property. If they foreclose in California on a house and you have equity and they sell it, uh, they own the, the person they foreclosed on the equity. So right. it's not like it's a they, they foreclose and the bank is to keep the equity. Does not happen in California. Right. And it's very <laughs> unlikely because in California, there's only 2.3% of the mortgages are in uh, having any issues anyway. So it's a very small amount. And most of those pe people probably have equity. So I wouldn't see those coming on the market for foreclosure. No, I don't either. I, the equity kind of is a game changer. Mm-hmm. And another little um, statistic that I thought was interesting is many home buyers are about to enter the prime years for, for coming into the market as first time home buyers. Uh, what do you think the average age is for when people move out? Uh, I read this, I read it, so I, I know. <laughs> it's uh, 26 is the average age when people move out from their parents' home. And then the average age, uh, median age for first time home buyer is 34. So if you are 34 and thinking about getting in the market, let us know. Or if you're younger than that, you can beat the curve. That's right. You can Jump beat the rush. <laughs> hey, you don't wait to buy real estate. You buy real estate and wait. That is correct. Okay. Are these your numbers? That's your, it. Thank the, you for watching. <laughs> we always like giving you the market update. If you like to talk about real estate as much as we do. Give us a call, give us a watch, give us a like, subscribe. CarrieandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Excellent. Thanks.